if you have wanted to invest in real estate, education, of course, is a good place to start. Spark videos, social media, and blog posts are all part of this. Now, let's say you've done lots of research and you've been looking at different ways to invest in real estate. Let's say you're ready to proceed. What comes next? If you're anything like me, you are probably excited to make the right connections, find the right investments, and start earning passive income while diversifying your investment portfolio. Hello, I'm Arne Sinadella with Spark Investment Group, and in this video, I'm going to help you understand a critical piece to the syndication investments, and that's the ownership structure. When you invest in a real estate syndication, you are investing directly in that underlying real estate asset. This differs from when you invest in a real estate investment trust or a REIT as they're called, where you're buying shares in a company that holds real estate assets. So to be clear, when you contribute capital towards a passive investment in a real estate syndication deal, you truly are investing in that real estate property itself. Here's how it works. As a limited partner investor, you are buying shares in the limited partnership or the LLC, the limited liability company that owns the multifamily income producing asset. That LLC is a pass through entity. So not only do you get direct ownership, you also get the pass through tax benefits. You as a limited partner investor gain a certain number of shares based on how much you've invested in the entity that holds the underlying real estate asset. The general partners also hold a certain percentage of the shares. The tax benefits as well as the cash returns are divvied up based on the number of shares owned. Both REITs and syndications invest in large-scale commercial and multifamily real estate. Let's discuss the pros and cons of both. REITs are basically shares of stock traded daily on the public stock exchanges. They are liquid. You can sell the shares anytime you want. Syndication investments are not liquid and generally require that your capital is committed for five to seven years. So you need to be sure you're okay with a lack of liquidity. Syndications typically invest in a specific property so you know exactly what you are investing in. REITs, on the other hand, invest in numerous properties which you often don't get to evaluate. One of the major differences is the tax advantages available to syndication investors that are not available to REIT investors. If tax shelter is important to you, it seems to me syndication should be the clear cut choice. Now that I've discussed the pros and cons with both, both types of real estate investments, which do you prefer and why? Drop a comment below and let us know. By the way, I want to personally invite you to come learn more about real estate syndications and how they can help you achieve financial freedom. Please join the Spark Investor Club today and see exactly how you can make the life you've always wanted a reality. I'll pop a link in the description below just for you. And finally, click the thumbs up below to let us know that you liked this video. Share it with a friend, please. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm Arne Sinadella with Spark Investment Group. Thanks so much for being here. I look forward to talking with you soon. Thank you so much.